now let's start the understanding the ema now what changes with ema only one thing changes with ema the formula so what was the formula of sma sma's formula was that if xi is the column which is basically the closing price hmm all the data so when you sum sum it all it's written as summation summation right in statistics xi means what this is x1 this is x2 this is x3 this is x4 this is the x5 so actually what is sma it is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 whole divided by 5 correct isn't that that what what we had calculated right yes so summation of x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 can be rewritten in statistics as summation symbol i is equal to 1 till 5 xi that's how it is written have you understood what it is if you open this it will become like the the numerator here. okay if you open this it will become like the numerator summation i is equal to 1 till 5 means this xi will be opened from 1 it will go till 5 and summation means you have to open it okay so if you open this it will become this one but you have to still divide it by 5 so it's 5 here so that's the symbol x bar is equal to summation xi by what n so this also we can write here as n this is a generalized formula it will really help us so please note it down somewhere x bar is equal to summation i is equal to 1 till n xi over n now remember there is this is not summation of xi by n don't think like that so that that will become xi xi by 5 x2 by 5 x and then whole divided by 5 no no it's summation xi you have to calculate the total of five numbers then the total has to be divided separately with the numbers number of observations n that is the case in the case of sma but in ema it will change so in the same example of five period sma now i am going to discuss with you five period em okay all right now to calculate the five period ema the magic is that you have to first calculate the five period sma so firstly what we will do is we will calculate the sma of the same period okay number of periods for me it is the length so it is n it is 5 and the values of all the periods together now do we already have the sma with us calculated on excel correct we have it right the base of ema is in sma don't forget huh? that's why i taught you sma so that i can explain ema better now the second thing is you have to calculate something which is called multiplier you must be wondering sir why are we going through the process when we can we can get the ema directly because you have to understand what goes behind making it then only you can understand what is the use of ema and why how is it different from sma so there is a multiplier which we have to calculate i'm calling it m okay now the formula of that multiplier is actually 2 divided by n plus 1 that's fixed okay in our case it would be 2 by 5 plus 1 which is 33% or 1 by 3 okay that's the multiplier now you know what is this 33% this is the weightage you will give to the latest price acha what does it mean it means that in sma when you were totaling x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and dividing it with 5 Want you actually multiplying every x ka value with one by five? When you are writing x one plus x two plus x three plus x four plus x five like this, and then dividing it with five, aren't you actually doing x one into one by five plus x two into one by five plus x three into one by five like that? Aren't you giving all of them twenty percent weightage? Are you or are you not? You are. 
correct now in case of the ema of the same five period instead of giving 20% weightage to the latest price we will be giving 33% weightage to the latest price so it will be affected more by the latest price movement 